Tony alone is accused of 33 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. Uh, I'm not guilty. At this time, it is very difficult to do. But when we talk this peace talk, and that peace talk, when we talk and everything is finished well, we go. We go and talk. Okay. We will see you tomorrow. We go and just that case. Uh, to show that I'm not found guilty. Mm. Yes. See, this is the emblem of the Lord's Resistance Army. In the middle of the harp is the Ten Commandments of God. We are fighting to defend the Ten Commandments of God because people are not following the Ten Commandments of God. Kony is accused of controlling his forces with a mixture of distorted Christianity and brutality. Their ideology, they say, comes from the Bible. Has God told you to fight this war? No, 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 no. It's not like that. God did not tell me to fight this war, no. How many spirits speak to you? Very many. I don't know the number. Uh, but they speak to me. They talk to me. You know, we are gorilla. We are rebel. We don't have... Uh, medicine, but with the help of spirit, they will tell to us, "You, Mr. Joseph, go and take this, this thing and that thing." Joseph Coney has been elusive for so many years that he's achieved an almost mythical status, both among his supporters and his enemies. The fact that he allowed me to spend time with him may be significant. He may be preparing to come out of the jungle and engage in talks with the Ugandan government. But it wouldn't surprise me if he slipped back into the bush, never to be seen again. <laughs>